Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. Hello folks and welcome to Inkdependence.com. Today we are taking a look at an unboxing. Uh, in this envelope is something that I kickstarted a little while ago. Uh, and I wasn't actually expecting it today because I never got a um, I never got a shipping notice. So I'm excited we get this today and let's check it out. I'm gonna employ the mighty letter opener carefully. It's things over here, but I think uh, you know you never know what's included. <laughs> I only I only went through the paper. Good job. I was too careful. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get in there. Yeah, there's nothing in here except for the pin itself all right well cool so no packing slip nothing like that uh so that's awesome i guess uh when you're just <laughs> shipping out a whole bunch of the same thing all right so this is the machine era field pin twist this is a i like these i really like these pin shipping tubes i'm actually not sure what they're supposed to be for if it's not pens because man they are perfect for pens uh, you can make them whatever length you like throw them in one of these envelopes and you're good oh dang this thing is indestructible anyway it feels like interesting all right, so uh, this pen was on Kickstarter, and um, and the idea here from Machine Era is they wanted to make a pen that had a cool look, uh, had a good feel, and it would take Parker so Parker style cartridges because I guess the rest of theirs didn't. I've never used one of their pens before, um, so uh, this is a new one for me. So let's take a brief look at this thing. Uh, you have this recessed clip area here, so this is. This is pretty smooth. You can feel the clip is there, but or the clip attachment is there, but not a big deal. On the side here, it says Machine Era USA. That's cool. It's got this nice twisty knock, which is uh, orange anodized. I like that. They call it a twist button, which I think is fun. It's got a very positive feel to it. Um, yeah, that's good. Actually, when I got it, it was just twisting this way, and I think this is how you open the pen. Or at least a way. Let's see what happens. I may be just breaking it on video. That's the knock. Yeah, there's the refill. All right, it came with a gel refill of some kind. What is this? Etoya Japan. Interesting. Does it say what it was going to come with? Yeah, Etoya Aqua Roller Parker type. Interesting. I don't know the Etoya Parker Roller, but this looks like a pretty needly tip. I probably won't. Oh, maybe I'll use this. I hate to like use it and then not like it when I could just put a jet stream in here and be perfectly happy. I don't know, does this come apart here too? All right, so it comes apart in a couple of places. Let's put it back together the way we got it though. Uh, here's the the knock. It's pretty nice. Oh, it looks very metally, although I think I see some plastic parts in there. Uh, there we go. Let's put this guy back together. This isn't going to be a full review or anything. I obviously just opened this up. And so this is brand new. Uh, opens it also here. This black coating here is DLC, which is diamond light coating. And uh, this stuff is really supposed to be very strong. You find it on knife blades and that kind of thing. I've got it on a couple of knife blades. And uh, it's pretty, it's darn near indestructible, this stuff. You can scuff it up a little bit, uh, but it's got a good feel to it. This pin is much heavier than I thought it was going to be. Let's see if they have a, a weight listed. I'm actually really bad at estimating weights. I've only just gotten a scale. So let's see, uh, solid feel, it does feel solid, that's for sure. Tactile grip detail, it does have those. Um, let's see, no, they never list the weight, so that's why I had no idea how this would weigh. Let's get our new scale, one sec. Okay, so I got this scale. Let's go ahead and do it this way, there we go. Uh, I got this scale just the other day, uh, so I can finally do weights and such. All right, and this is set for grams. Let's put that guy on there. Yeah, 42 grams. That's kind of a beast. Let's see what a diplomat arrow weighs, just for grins, because that's right here. Yeah, so it weighs more than a diplomat arrow, and it's a ballpoint pen. Let me uh, see if I can find some other heavy stuff. One sec. This is the, uh, the TI Scribe Bolt. 37. This is solid brass. <laughs> uh, uh, what else do I have here? Uh, this is a Kaveco. This is a Kaveco special fountain pen. Again, solid brass. 33. There's a Montegrappa mini mule. Should have copper. 31. Yeah, 42. This is a heavy pen. 
Uh, here, just for grins, we put this guy on there. Zero it. Uh, it's a little pen rest. This is the uh, this is the Studio Neat Mark One, one of my current favorites. This weighs in at 22 grams. So this guy is like twice the weight of a Mark I. It's kind of a beast. All right, so I'm gonna guess this is stainless steel. They actually have several different uh, versions of this pen listed on the Kickstarter. They've got a stainless steel, they've got this black DLC, which is what I got, uh, and they have a solid brass. So I'm guessing this isn't solid brass, although it's been DLC'd, diamond light coating, which is a type of PVD, and so it's, it seems like it's kind of all around in there. I don't really see any spots that aren't uh, that would betray the color of or the actual like material this is made of. Let's look in this side. Yeah, I don't know, man. It looks it looks like a pretty solid coating all the way around, which is a nice job on the coating. But I have no idea what this pen is made of, but I know it's heavy. So um, it remains to be seen if this is going to be one that I'm going to enjoy writing with. Although it does seem pretty balanced, like it wants to be on the paper. So that might be pretty good. It's a little on the short side. I didn't think it was going to be maybe this short. Anyway, um, this has been a, uh, this is just a first look at this pen. I'm going to use it, of course, and see how it goes. Because uh, it is a nice looking pen. It's got a good little spring steel clip here. Feels nice and solid. Uh, I dig it. All right. This has been the Machine Era Field Pen twist in black DLC with the orange anodized twist button, which is, I think, fun. All right, that's it. I'll see you later. Peace out.